Hey guys, Jamie here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the basics of what you need to melt your own ore and uh, try to get something out of it. Um, so, first off, what we see here is we got a couple of uh, crucibles. We've got this graphite one right here. It's uh, brand new. I haven't used it yet. Um, this one is uh, it's quite small. It doesn't fit a whole lot. And it's uh, it kind of makes like a little... Uh, ingot or whatever you want to call it is the design of it. You could also use it to pour whatever you want to do. Um, and then we've got this one that is the uh, ceramic one. And uh, this one I've used quite a bit and it's getting a little rough here. Um, this is probably the easier one to use in my opinion because all you gotta do is just put your stuff in it and uh, you can either uh, you can either use a torch directly on it or you could uh, use a smelter uh, if you make your own smelter or buy one um, so you can use it in either or and same with the graphite one really um, so this this one uh, as you can see uh, it's got lots of glass left in it glazing uh, and it's black that's a uh, lots of a uh, dirty material that's uh, needs to be cleaned out of it but probably what I'll end up doing is just getting a new one um, I can still use this one, but it's just a little bit messy. Um, so first, second here, let, let's, uh, let's talk about the torch that you're going to need, uh, for just basic do-it-yourself type things. And, uh, first off, they say that you can use, uh, you can use propane and, um, you can, but for the cost of it and whatnot, and plus you're going to need a decent torch head for it like the uh the tip there you're gonna need a decent one um so a decent one usually runs you about like 50 to 80 bucks like a little less than 100 um but for the cost of gas get map gas so that's what you want is map gas and it just it burns hotter than propane and it might cost a little bit more but you're going to actually use less gas in what you're doing and so then it's actually more cost effective because it doesn't take nearly as long to heat up stuff to the melting point with the map gas versus the uh, um, propane um, you could also use acetylene which i don't really recommend because it heats it up so quick that you are uh, risk damaging your crucibles um, they can break quite easily with the too much heat and um, it's uh you can actually like vaporize the metals that you're getting with it because it's just simply too hot um so yeah map gas is what i recommend uh, i think they're usually the bottle here um you get from like a hardware store for like 10 15 dollars for a bottle and uh the tip as long as you don't uh break it or anything you just keep using it um so Anyways, let's uh, take a look at the materials here. So we've got this uh, ore here that uh, this should contain gold. And um, this is actually uh, from, uh, this is ore that fell out of a uh, ore bucket I've collected. I've got a little bit of this. And then this is from inside a mine. And uh, this wasn't really processed or anything. Um, it's very green. You can see, uh, I used this actually in another video and there's a lot of copper on the outside. That's why it's quite green, but there's also, uh, lots of minerals on the inside. Um, if you'll focus here, yeah, you can kind of see lots of minerals on the inside there. And so it's interesting to, uh, melt it down to see what you might get out of it. Um, the this ore here I've gotten, uh, that was actually what turns black, was that there's a lot of crap in it, lots of uh, impurities and stuff, and um, I also think I maybe heated it up too much. Um, I didn't find anything in it though. Um, I guess um, the, uh, the gold that's in it is uh, very minimal, like they would, they would have been uh, smelting a lot of the stuff to get an ounce. Um, how much, uh, how many ounces per ton, I don't know what it was, but it was probably not great. Um, so let's show here the, uh, this is a uh, smelter that I made that you can make fairly easy. 
So you've got a hole in the top here. Um, that's to kind of let the excess heat out the top here. Um, so you got the handle which you would nor normally grab with like a pair of uh, vice grips or something when it's hot. But uh, obviously it's not hot right now. So open it up and uh, there is a little uh, tray there that's to uh, hold uh, your uh, crucible on. So it goes on there and then uh, all you gotta do is uh, put your, uh, there's a hole in the side here, put your torch in the side there. It's not meant for this tip, but I'd have to make it bigger for that tip. And um, this needs to be insulated still. I haven't used this yet, I'm still waiting to get insulation. And um, basically it's like a ceramic uh, wool type insulation that you put all around the outside, let the uh, flame go past it, and uh, the lid would also get insulated. But uh, realistically it's very simple, and um, it's sitting on uh, three legs here just to keep it up off the ground. And uh, I wouldn't use it on a workbench like this, I wouldn't use any of this stuff on a workbench, I'd do it outside. Um, because the amount of heat you're dealing with and you're dealing with fire, uh, you don't want to light a fire, obviously. Um, so, let's see the uh, what you got to do here. So, so say you feel that like you're ready to uh, start melting this stuff. So, you uh, choose either or. And um, what you got to do is uh, run it through a crusher of some sort. You could also put in a, like, take a small piece, put it, wrap inside a towel, and then beat it with a hammer until you've got basically a powdery mix. And so I've run it through my crusher, and I've got powder here in this uh, container here. So what you're going to do is you uh, take some powder here, take a bit here, put it inside the uh, crucible here. So you dump all that in, and then what you're going to do is uh, you're going to need a bit of flux. So most people say to mix it 50-50. So in this uh, paint hit can lid, um, I've got borax here. That is, it's basically all this is uh, um, like washer dryer type stuff that you go to uh, um, like Walmart and you can pick it up. It's relatively cheap. Um, there are other mixes of it out there that... Uh, um, people claim are better for using flux and basically all of them are basically based off of borax like that's the main ingredient is borax and I don't know if any of the other ones are actually any good if they're actually better like they claim they are even though they're based on just borax all I'm using is just straight borax and it seems to work just fine so like I said you got your uh, crushed rock in here that basically kind of looks like dirt by the time it's powderized and uh, you you usually add about uh, they say 50 50 is usually what people like to add um, I would go at least 30 percent borax at least probably no lower and uh, so once you've uh, got it in there mix it up stir it up in there and then you're going to uh, take your torch here and Oh, the gas isn't on. Um, so, so you got your torch on, and then you're gonna put it directly to it. But first, first, what you want to do is uh, just kind of stay away from it a little bit and just kind of heat it up like, gradually, and that's gonna prevent it from uh, cracking the crucible. Because if you put too much heat directly to it, it's gonna shock it, and it's just gonna crack it and then you're going to need a new one. So, um, sometimes also what I do is I use this uh, chunk of a uh, half inch steel plate and uh, what I will do is take uh, the crucible off of it and just run the torch straight to this, heat it up a little bit, just go around it. Like the map gas will not turn this red hot, but it'll turn it hot enough that you're not going to want to touch it with your hand and that's within just a minute. Um, so then what you're going to do is uh, put this on there and the heat's going to come up from that and it's going to be fairly decent that way um, to help uh, heat it without shocking it. And uh, then you can uh, gradually heat this with just like kind of go around it for like a minute and then start applying a uh, direct heat to it 
and what you're gonna notice is uh you're gonna notice an orange glow all around it and that's when you know that you're you're heating it properly and um, you cannot start it that way or you will shock it like I'm saying um, but once you're doing that then you're gonna hold it there for probably say no more than 10 minutes and uh, you'll you'll see it very easily the uh, the material is gonna turn glowing red and it's gonna turn into a uh, kind of like a uh, goop like it's gonna be very thick and uh, when it gets to that what I usually like to do is uh, you can get little uh, holders for these things little uh, wire uh, handle type thing that just goes on it and then you can pick it up but I haven't got one of those and I just uh, pick it up carefully with these and just tilt it and just pour it onto the uh, thick plate here and um, a lot of times when you're doing that you will have to uh, one hand tilting this and uh, the other hand uh, still running the torch to it um, because it will cool fairly quick to where it's uh, no longer in like a runny stage um, so you're gonna kind of want to keep it heated up and pour it and then once you've got it poured you're gonna end up with a uh, black uh, glass material and that's gonna have your uh, metals in it um, so then uh, what you're gonna want to do is uh, if you're uh, in an area where it's not going to matter that you get glass uh, bits everywhere you can uh, just uh, smash it and you'll get your metal um, you'll have to really pay attention to it um, I would tell you guys more but the uh, recording is uh, just about up here and um, yeah um, that's the basic guide you're going to need to know uh, what material what is in the materials that you're uh, um, trying to uh, uh, melt there and uh, that's about it um, you don't really want to mix all the materials together because then you're going to just kind of well you're going to get a mix of things um, but there are other steps there and you can uh, refine it and whatnot after um, this is basically this is just the method of using fire what I think is a lot better than all this is the chemical method with uh, using acids and that type of stuff um, because you can actually uh, you can take one material out at a time with uh, with different chemicals um, that's that's much more involved but it's also a much better way of doing it um, and I'll explain that in another video so anyways guys uh, fairly simple um, whenever you're doing this stuff wear eye protection so you don't get a splatter in your face and obviously wear gloves use common sense and do it outside um, and don't breathe the fumes in obviously just really use common sense all right i hope this helps you guys uh, any questions uh please just let me know and uh some, some materials you're not gonna be able to do this way you know you have to research it see if you can actually do it or not but the majority of probably what you guys are going to be wanting to do silver gold that type of stuff you can do this way all right anyways that's the video hope you guys enjoy i'll see you guys later